Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I've got to go. Uh, another flavored beer. I did did one earlier. This is from the Dark Horse Brewing Company. It's another one I can't remember. I can't remember if Special K sent me this one either. I think he did. It's out of uh, Marshall, Missouri. Raspberry Ale. Ale with raspberries added. 5% ABV. Dark Horse Brewing Company. <clears throat> it's kind of a cool picture. It's got a hornet going after a raspberry there. <clears throat> and again, I'm not real big on flavored beers, and I really am not a raspberry fan. Um... So I do not know if I am going to like this or not. I don't see a date on this one either. The other one I didn't see a date on it either. So um, the cap's kind of cool. It's got a, a horse, horse's head. The mane is kind of flying back behind there. Kind of looks like the star used on the Rush albums. Alright, let's see if this is going to be nasty or not. <clears throat> hmm. Has IPA aroma. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Okay. We have a slight khaki on the edge of mocha type head about a finger of head um, the appearance is very hazy it's a hazy what amber maybe it has a, a citrus type I mean a, well it does have a citrus type of, of, of appearance but it also just has an IPA type Type of look on a lot of IPAs. Um, the carbonation is kind of sticking on the glass there a little bit. All right, let's see what we got on this aroma. Okay, I'm getting uh, <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit of um, of the raspberry, a little bit. <clears throat> getting the maltiness. A little bit of citrus on the aroma. All right, I'm kind of curious about this. Let's see what we got on this taste. Light to medium carbonation burn. Weird. Got some dryness, got some hop flavors. Doesn't say what hops are in this, but uh, whatever hops can produce the taste of raspberry, ale with all well, the raspberries added. Yeah, I'm getting it. Um, the the aroma was kind of a had a slight sweetness to it, but I'm not really. I'm getting them raspberries on the taste. It's more, it's more on the back end instead of up front. The body is light to medium. 
Hmm. It's different. Very different. I can't decide whether or not I like this. It has a bitterness to it. It does, it does have a bitterness to it. Like a raspberry bitter. Hmm. Excuse me. Hmm. It's interesting. Um <clears throat> getting slight maltiness, but it's mostly uh uh, it's mostly um, some hoppy, some hoppy flavors bouncing around in there. I'm not really digging the the raspberry effect on it. <clears throat> the bitterness um, it lingers, it lingers on the palate. Um, <clears throat> this is okay. Um, I'll drink it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it again. I mean, of course, I didn't. I don't even. I don't think I bought this. Somebody gave it to me, but I don't know who. But um, no, I don't. It's okay. <laughs> um, if I was to rate it between one and five, I'd probably give it a maybe two and a half. Somebody else might appreciate this kind of beer. Um, I just like the the regular characters in the IPAs rather than this. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys have had this. I'm kind of curious about if anybody else likes this style. All right, well, I'm going to end it there. I thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And we will see you all on the next one.